Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. For the Lord is great and highly to be praised. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today we celebrate Saints Timothy and Titus. They were companions with Paul in the evangelization to all the nations or to the Gentiles or non-Jews. So it's another day in which we think about that apostolic gift that all of us have been given to share that faith. One of the best ways they'd say to to grow our church is to invite someone to join you to come to Mass, to know the saving work of God and to join a worshiping community like ours or any of our local parishes. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to win our seed for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who adorns Saints Timothy and Titus with apostolic virtues, grant through the intercession of them both that living justly and devoutly in this present age, we may merit to reach your heavenly homeland. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, for the promise of life in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my dear child. Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to God, whom I worship with a clear conscience, as my ancestors did, as I remember you constantly in my prayers night and day. I yearn to see you again, recalling your tears, so that I may be filled with joy as I recall your sincere faith that first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice, and that I am confident lives also in you. For this reason, I remind you to stir into flame the gift of God that you have through the imposition of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather of power and love and self-control. So do not be ashamed of your testimony to our Lord, nor of me, a prisoner for his sake, but bear your share of hardship for the gospel, with the strength that comes from God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim, Proclaim God's, God's marvelous, marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord Jesus appointed 72 other disciples whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So as to master the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest, go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. For whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you. For the laborer deserves his pay. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you, cure the sick in it, and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to think about going to a campfire and enjoying the warmth of a campfire. And then what happens is after a while, it sort of starts to die out, doesn't it? And you have to know, throw another log onto the flame to kindle that fire and get it going again. But once you kindle it up, that flame becomes alive and well again. That's what our first reading speaks of with our faith life. You know, our faith life can be very strong at times in our life. But there are times in our life we got to throw another log on. we got to kindle and stir that flame. And that's the flame of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Unless we work on protecting that little campfire that we're going to call our soul, it starts to snuff out. Not intentionally, not automatically, but over time. And as we celebrate these two disciples that are almost like apostles, Timothy and Titus, they wrote these pastoral letters that are in our scriptures, but what they speak of when we hear our first, our, our first reading from St. Paul's letter to Timothy, he's talking about stirring into flame and keeping that flame alive. And sometimes it requires a little kindling. But if you do, God will give you the grace. He'll give you the grace to persevere. He'll give, give you the grace to not be excessive on something or, or obsessive on another thing. He'll give you the grace to have self-control, to bite your tongue when you need to to be strong when you need to, to hang in there when you need to. But God will always be there. I think we all know that God will be there in all the corners of our life. Some days are victories, some days are defeats. But we also have a role in that plan as we hear our gospel, to go out into the harvest because the, the laborers are few. I think what happens, though, it's easy to get discouraged. And sometimes we need to kindle in that flame a little bit more. I think in January days, the beginning of a new year, the beginning of the ordinary time, all of those times in our life that we've struggled, that's how that flame starts to snuff out. So today as we begin the day, think about how you can kindle the flame of your faith a little bit more to make it grow stronger. Stir into flame those, those Holy Spirit notions that allow you to tap into the God's wisdom, God's understanding, God's counsel, all of those gifts. But it requires an affirmative step on each one of our parts. Although you know that God will be there and will give you the grace and will help you along the way. But think about it's January, we're coming to the end of the month, how you can make 2023 a little bit more faith-filled, a little bit more holy, a little bit more setting the course, a little bit more not not giving up, we'll say, and stir into flame what the Holy Spirit gave to you at your baptism, when he formed you in the womb, when he set you out to do his work in the world, and also to help you not be discouraged. And we can do it by extra prayers today. We can do it by extra acts of charity today. We can do it by extra contemplation today. Different ways that we can stir that flame in our hearts so that we can love those that we live with, love those that we work with, love those that we interact with, and not want to bite, you know, bite them instead or be mean to them instead, 
but instead be generous of heart. Because when the Holy Spirit is alive in our hearts, we will have a kick in our step and we'll be out there to work in the harvest. Because the laborers are few and God needs us. He needs you and I this day. So think about how you can build that prayer life all the more this day and celebrate Saints Timothy and Titus, early disciples, early people that issued pastoral letters, and we can remember them well. Please rise now for the intercessions. As we gather together with confidence in the Father's love, who calls us to stir the flame of our hearts, we bring our needs to him. For the church throughout the world, for you and I, as we lead the church in 2023 in all of our ways and interactions, may God bless us with wisdom and courage as we shepherd the people entrusted to our care. We pray for our global church as well. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for government officials throughout the world. There's always daily updates on what goes on in Ukraine, and it's always about, you know, war. But there's so many war-torn areas of our entire world, even in our local community. May our local leaders and our national leaders and our international leaders, may the Lord help every one of our leaders have a greater respect for human beings around the world, a greater working for the common good, and a greater working for peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the ways that we struggle with financial hardship, with with spiritual woes in our lives, may the God of all kindness look with favor on our every need, our every brokenness, and help us to be healed through this liturgy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For members of our faith community who have fallen away from the Lord, where that kindle of faith needs a little bit more kindling, because it starts to snuff out. May the light of Christ guide them back home, and may we be instruments that ask people to join us at Mass, join us in the liturgy, and help them to welcome be home. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died marked with the sign of faith, we pray in a special way for Jenny Fusco, whose funeral will be celebrated tomorrow, and Norman Daly, whose funeral will be celebrated on Saturday. We pray for all of our own loved ones, and we remember in a special way at this Mass, Joseph Sobin, and remember Ali and the whole family. Uh, but for Joe, in a special way, may God welcome him into his heavenly home, and may we meet him again. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those prayers that we voice now in the silence of our hearts. And we make these prayers through the intercession of St. Joseph. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of life and your goodness and compassion, we ask that you grant our petitions. And we ask this all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Through the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all, his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people. 
which we bring in celebration of Saints Timothy and Titus. And in your kindness, render us fully acceptable by giving us sincerity of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as in the festival of Saints Timothy and Titus, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all of the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all, distra all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, 
Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. In our own indirect way, let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Go into all the world and proclaim the gospel. I am with you always, says the Lord. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, nourish in us that faith, taught by the preaching of the apostles and kept safe by the laborers of Saints Timothy and Titus through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.